Frankie, how about another unboxing? Okay. We've been doing a lot of these lately. We have been. People like them, though. I know. I like them, too. I like to unbox things. I do, too. Yeah. All right. How appropriate. We've been talking about the QSP knives. Yeah. We've got three of them here. Okay. You guys have seen them on our channel now um, the last over the last few months. Yeah. Which I'm going to use one? this one. I'm going to use it. It's the Black Mambo. Black Mambo. So it would be like the Black Mamba. But yes. Frankie's but Italian. <laughs> I think he's combining a couple he's things. He's an Italian snake. <laughs> <laughs> That's a dude. He's just, he's got a real weasel personality. <laughs> I guess it wouldn't be weasel. It would be. No. It'd be snake-like. He's a sleazy guy. Okay. He's an Italian yeah. snake. You can that, picture him. I can, Ital I, I can completely picture him. I'm not him. trying to offend you Italians out there. I don't know where I'm going with this. Anyway, here's the package. Okay. Should be three knives. Let's open it. Yeah. Looks like a... Looks C4. like a block of C4, yeah. exactly. Yeah. Or some coca cocaine. 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 Yeah, Frank, you've been. Uh, I don't know. We probably watch. Selling too many drugs or. Well, we do go something. to the park. We go to the park a lot. Yeah. <laughs> we don't sell drugs. No, that'd be no. Ooh, three. Three of the same boxes. Okay. Uh, before. Oh, hold on. I like the name of this one already. Well, hold on. Don't even tell me. Okay. Okay. Before we get into the actual unboxing, I just want to say, how much do we know about these three knives? I know nothing about them. Frankie knows nothing. Nothing whatsoever. I know next to nothing. Well, okay. I just grabbed the name of this one. It's called the platypus. It is? It has to be awesome, right? Platypus? <laughs> wow, okay. All right, well, let's just go one let's, by one. Yeah, then. let's go one by one. Let's see what platypus looks like. Oh, that's a new card. It is. Interesting. Let's see. He looks like uh, a cleaver. I remember this one. I don't remember the name. It's platypus. Well, I mean, I don't remember it from from before ordering Interesting. it. Interesting. Okay, I like this. It's more your style than my style. It's a it's a little big. Thumb studs. It's a large shrimp. This is the jumbo shrimp. Jumbo shrimp? Mm-hmm. So this is the same thumb studs that we saw on the copperhead. True, yeah. Exact same ones. There's the centering. Cleaver. Oops, ouch. It's a little stiff. It uh, just needs the break in, obviously. It's a platypus. Oh, cool backspace. Oh, here. interesting. Nice. I like that. Now, what is this? Just G10 inside G10? Uh-huh. That's what it looks like. Well, I'm asking. I'm just saying that's what it looks like to me. It's got some good sound. It's got thwacky action. It's got continuous belly all through that blade. It yeah. is a cleaver. Uh-huh. It's got like a little Emerson wannabe sort of thing, but it's only there for style. I don't yeah. think you could wave this. No, there's nothing to grab onto. Might try it. It's a liner lock. Uh, don't even know how much these go for. Oh. And actually, we should mention that real quick, too. We'll put links into where you can buy them, but I'm not sure. It's either going to be that White Mountain Knives or possibly Amazon. So we'll put links to where you can get them. Huh. Um, if it's like any of the others, we're going to see a $50 to $70 range yeah. on this knife here. Yeah. All right. Interesting. Okay. Absolutely. Mr. Platypus. Okay, cool. Where are we at? Let's yeah, see I'm what... going to go. <gasps> oh, nice. I love their names. Very good action on this one. Okay, guess what this one's called. What is it? Piglet. Pi are you serious? Piglet. Hold on, let's take a look at the card. Piglet. You guys can pause there. Let's put a little knife. It's like the two tone okay, color. Okay, this is kind of nice. Yeah, I am curious about okay. the price on this one. All right, first new one. Right hand only. Platypus. Whoa. Look at that G10. I just want to confirm she's not making this up. The this piglet. One's stiff. Stiffer. It's His name is Piglet. Card. Yes. This one needs to be loosened, I think. Let me see. Is it really that stiff? It's a little gritty. All right, we were saying this um, just in general. Call it one in twenty knives we get that has a gritty action from the factory, like yeah. needs to be either taken apart or blown. Let's see. It needs to be blown. <laughs> Give it a blow job. Let's just do my tr technique and see if it makes a difference. I would blow it out first, though. Just blow all through it. Blow it good. Okay. Hold it open. So hold it out so I can blow it. This 
has got to be interesting. Everybody loves it. It's gonna need some more break in. It's it's, it's a better. little stiff, but yeah. it's not bad. Here, let know. me put yeah, a little. Yeah, what do you think? Let me put a little lube in here. On the piglet. <laughs> lube the piglet. <laughs> lube the piglet. Oh, well, first you blew the piglet. <laughs> This is a, we always say, this is a PG-13. We try not to go further than that. It sounded like you said well, PG. <laughs> the, the innuendos, though, I suppose, you have to get them. And if you get them, sometimes they're really too far. Like they're really way too very far. inappropriate. Yeah. That's, very inappropriate. I guess that's just how adult humor can be. Like, if you're a, a really, uh, if, if you're a young person watching this, you might not understand. Or it might uh -huh. just, you know, completely go over your head. I don't know. <laughs> <laughs> This one's interesting. The G10 coloration is. Now look at that. Cray cray. It's the same. I like it's it. It's the same but different. It's getting better. It is um, good. It flips nicely with these thumb studs. So we just got all thumb studs right now. Okay, let's see if we get a. It looks like a little mushroom cap, doesn't it? Mm hmm. That's all I'm going to say there. Okay. Okay, keep it out I right here. We're gonna keep, yeah. keep okay. Oh, you bent the card. I didn't mean to. No, I already did. I oh, she's just playing play me. Yeah. Okay, this is another animal. It's another animal. This right. one goes with our family. Well, hold on. What? Let's see the name first. His name is Eagle. Just the eagle. eagle. Okay. There's no, there's probably, no the. There's it's probably eagle. no other names named the eagle mm. or eagle. Eagle. I got it. Jeez. I got it. I figured it out. Ooh, it's like a karambit. Let's just get that card open. Claw. We're going to bend the card again. Claw. We're going to bend the card again. <laughs> what was that laugh? I don't know. Okay. <laughs> Let's see this one. Eagle. So I get it. It's a flipper karambit. These are always too big for my hands. Yeah. And actually, look, he has feathers. Let me see. It's like an eagle foot. It actually looks like I an eagle foot. I guess I'm kind of seeing that. Do you yeah. see the eagle foot? <laughs> it does look like a bird. I know. Yeah. Okay, this one's got that same pivot collar, non-pivot collar that the copperhead has. Yeah. Copperhead. I think the copperhead was on the bottom. But yeah, yeah it's not an actual pivot collar. D2 steel on this one. All right, we'll probably do more t detailed videos with these knives. Yeah, let me just show a close-up real quick. We just did a video on this one, but same thing. Looks good. Is it right or left? No. Good. Let me flip it. I've not Karambits even flipped it yet. are only for right-handers. Okay, um, I'm not into karambits. Frankie's it's not really It's kind of cool. Either, but it is kind of cool. Yeah. It is kind of cool. I wouldn't mind like a little karambit. All right, and it's very smooth with it a is. solid yeah. detent. Listen to that. Let me see if I can... I can't check it out easily anyway. It kind of has like... Look, he has feathers on his spine, too. On the oh. spine? No, I meant, like, up here. Oh, it's, yeah, up here. Just on the one side? Yeah. Hmm. It's the show side. There's the clip. He ha he looks like a bird. He actually does look like a bird. Look, in that way, he looks, look, it looks like a nose. Too. This would be a very aggressive knife. I like him. For, you know... I don't really usually like karambits either, but cutting he kind of has personality. Cutting up your tomatoes and whatnot. It's pretty cool. Uh, I don't know how much it is. If it's going to be around the same $50, it's probably a lot of knife for the money. Very basic backspacer built into it. Well, I guess it's a steel backspacer because the ring is steel. Yeah, true. Yeah. True, true. I don't know. Kind of cool. Eagle, Frankie. The just, just eagle. Eagle. Yeah. Yeah, he does look like a bird. Well, let's grab all of these out, shall okay. we? Yeah. Go ahead. I grab this one out. The copperhead. The black mambo. <laughs> Italiano, as Frankie <laughs> says. And then what else is that? That's the... Phoenix. Hooked on Phoenix. Yep. So there's the QSP knives in our collection right now. Got to say some good stuff. Yeah. We've compared them to Vanguard knives as well as Civivis. True, yeah. And others, yeah. Good stuff. We'll see what the prices are as long as they're kind of in this range. It'd be good. Um, especially this range because this one is 75. Well, he's carbon fiber, so yeah. he's more. Well, yeah. Everybody um, else is G10, so I would think it's about the same. 50 if they're that lower price, they're going to be uh, good for your money. Good. It's, 
Mr. Piglet getting better? It's just Piglet. It's not <laughs> Mr. <laughs> All right. Okay. I think that's everything. We'll that's do more. Um, let us know in comments if you want to see more of the QSP stuff, but we're liking it. Yeah. Yeah. It's getting better. It's still a little gritty. Oh, this one? Yeah. Yeah. This is the one well, out of... it's because of... Piglet's playing dirt. Yeah. 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 He's dirty. So of course but you always dirty. say, pigs are the cleanest animals. They are. They're not. No, like, they are. I can are. tell. No, they're the cleanest animals. It doesn't make any sense because they play in mud and other For a natural stuff. sunscreen. Yeah. They don't ever walk in their own poop. That means they're dirty, though. All right, we're going to take I'm this just saying, off air. They are really clean. Thanks a lot for joining us. Bye.